You're so cute. Good morning, guys. It is, I believe, May 11th, and I was looking at my time hop this morning, and it was around this time that I actually graduated college. Um, I graduated from Liberty University, uh, class of 2014. Technically, I was class of 2013, the fall semester, but I digress. Um, I graduated with two of my best friends, and it was such a great experience. I was still in the college program at the time, and I flew home, and I was able to hang out with hang out on my favorite campus and hang out with some of my old friends. And at that point, it had been quite a few months since I had even been um, to Liberty, and Liberty was such a home to me. It still kind of is a home to me. It's changed a lot. I will tell you that um, within the last year, they have made quite a few decisions that I 100% do not agree with. Um, for example, they are having our lovely President of the United States come and speak at the graduation ceremony this year. Um, but anyway, I don't want to get into politics at the moment. Um, I just wanted to say, but I wanted to bring this up because I wanted to say congrats to all of the graduates out there. If you are graduating college or if you are graduating high school or middle school or elementary school or whatever, congrats. I always, 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 always tell all of the CPs who I talk to um, whenever they're getting ready to leave, um, they're into their program, I tell them, go back, go and finish your major, and if you still want to come to Disney, come back to Disney. They will, Disney will always be here, there will always be a spot for you here. Um, the only thing is, is like, you, if you do decide to, you know, stop doing Disney, you have your major, or you can use your major for Disney. Um, I graduated in graphic design, clearly I am not doing anything graphic design with Disney at the moment. I really... I won't get into that. Um, my plans were to, but the plans change. Um, but I'm starting up an Etsy business in graphic design. I'm um, starting, mind you. Um, but anyway, I just wanted to say congrats to all of those out there. Um, I have an earlier shift, slightly earlier shift, 30 minutes early. Um, typical eight hour shift, which is nice. Um, I've come to like really love and appreciate my eight hour shifts. Um, and it's gonna be a high of 96 today, which is the hottest it has been all year and apparently it is record heat for Florida for this time. Um, we are still in a drought. We had that one rain and that was pretty much it. Um, we haven't had any rain since so we've had literally I think one one maybe two good rain showers within the last three months or so. Um, Disney has literally been not doing, when it's windy, it's not been doing fireworks in the evening. Um, or they've done like a minimum, minimum, minimum amount of fireworks. So if you are going to the parks, please keep that in mind that you may not get a firework show. Um, of course they have been doing wishes, of course they have been, um, or they are still planning to do Happily Ever After here soon, um, but those fireworks shows are very much monitored. Um, same thing with Epcot. Epcot, it's in the water, so um, they're able to monitor it and protect it. Um, but Hollywood Studios, because that park is not designed for fireworks, um, they there's not much they can do. If we can have a day where we don't have to open up our extended queue, um, which typically means that our wait time is over 45 minutes, then that's a good day. Um, and if we can only like reach that 40 minute point for like maybe an hour today, then today's gonna be easy because it'll be a 20 minute wait. And I feel like 20 minute wait is the maximum that pretty much anyone should wait for the Great Weaver Ride. But I'm being positive, I'm staying positive. I have pizza for lunch and tomorrow is Friday. So the week is almost over guys. The week is almost over. Today was rough guys. Today was real rough. Today was rough, but it wasn't because we were busy. It was not because of guests. It was actually because of casts. It was because of casts not doing their job well. It was casts not helping out other people um, to help do their job better. And it was casts getting snippy at me for stupid reasons, not understanding what's going on. Halfway through my shift, I was like, why am I here? 
I'm considering calling out for work tomorrow and also Monday because I need a break. I know, like I say like I need a break, I need a break, I need a break, but the, the attraction just becomes so exhausting sometimes. I'm running my car to let the air cool down. Um, but um, it's just rough. It's rough and it shouldn't be. That's why it's an issue. It shouldn't be rough, guys. We're in the off season. Hey guys, so um, as you can tell, it is later. You may even be able to tell from my darling face that I look exhausted. That is because I kind of came home and had a miniature meltdown just because today really sucked. And when I realized I was going to have an 11 hour shift tomorrow and then again on Monday, I kind of mm, lost a little bit and just kind of felt trapped um, because of where I am in transfer guidelines. I won't get into the logistics and the details as to why I can't transfer, why I can't really go to the managers about asking to transfer, blah, 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 blah. Um, but I decided to call out tomorrow, personal, and also on Monday, personal, um, because of some very complicated tech, not tech, but like technical loopholes, if you can even call it a loophole, um, it's going to put me back into transfer guidelines. I know it's kind of like two steps forward, one step back, but if I can get at least a couple of extra days of rest before the craziness of the summer and also get on that transfer wait list quicker, that is what we're going to do. And so that is what I'm going to do and Jared and I are going to have a fun-filled day tomorrow and possibly even Saturday um, and at least I will on Saturday um, who knows we'll see but um, I got my ipsy bag which you're probably thinking ipsy bag um, I actually wrote a blog post that I preferred Birchbox over ipsy and that's very true I think Birchbox Birch box is better Ooh, say that five times fast um, but I forgot to cancel my subscription to Etsy. I like postponed my monthly, like I skipped a bag is what they called it, um, because I was still kind of thinking about it. And so by the time I made the decision that I want a Birchbox subscription, not Etsy, they had already shipped it and charged me for it. So there was no going back. So we have an Ipsy, our very last Ipsy bag to unbox. And then I'm going to end this vlog and go to sleep because I am now emotionally and physically exhausted. Okay, since I'm currently in my PJs, we're going to do this in a very unconventional way because I don't feel like putting on pants. Well, first off, it's actually wrapped, which it's never actually wrapped. Kind of interesting. Oh, I get why it's because it's clear. Okay, this, this is cute. I am not gonna lie, this is quite adorable actually. Let's get that wrapping paper over there. And it's got a zipper, let's see. Oh, first things first, literally, um, Ipsy. I have one of these. I mean, I love it. It's one of my favorite. Um, this is for highlighter. I um, use it for blush, though, but I absolutely love it. So thanks for sending me another one. But, I mean, super quite much. I also love this rose gold. Is this not gorgeous? And then nail lacquer. This is going to be nail polish. Oh my gosh, guys. Do you, do you see this? Do you see this gorgeous color right here? Beautiful. I might even actually use that for my wedding. And let's see. Oh, we have another one of these. And not gonna lie, I think I actually already got one of these from Ipsy. This is lipstick, which I think. But actually, this is the perfect color. Or you know what? I bet you this is actually in my work bag. This is the perfect color for um, my work. This is actually the same color of my costume, so okay, we'll give them that. I'm gonna set that aside. And then this is lip balm for dry, chapped lips, which I actually, not gonna lie, I actually need because my lips get so chapped at work. I have no idea why, so I'm gonna actually put that near my nightstand. And then last but not least, Urban Decay 8 Hour Powder Highlighter. I don't actually use highlighter too much, but I wonder if I can use this as an eyeshadow. Hmm. Okay, we're gonna put that away as well. So, all right, Ipsy, I will give you that. You did a good job. Look at this bag. Is it not the cutest thing ever? Oh, I'm gonna use this for snacks. Mm. Okay.
Okay guys, I hope you enjoyed this vlog. I know it wasn't the most positive um, vlog, but lately, my life's just been kind of, mm, lately. Um, I really apologize for that, believe me. I wish it was more happy, um, and yes, a lot of it is work-related, and no, it's not necessarily Disney's fault. It's just a combination of everything, but anyway, um, hit the like button just because. Um, comment below, tell me what, tell me something that you like about your life or you like about the vlogs and hit subscribe to get more videos about me like i said tomorrow we're going to i think we're going to disney springs to go see guardians and um yeah i'll see you guys tomorrow here is for a good good day tomorrow and i hope you guys had a better day than i did bye good night